bolt action battle report. Encounter at Petit Village. Intelligence reports confirmed that a Hanamag transporting a high-ranking German officer had been knocked out by an Allied aircraft. The vehicle was knocked out in a village square next to a church just behind enemy lines and is thought to contain documents detailing troop deployments. It was up to a recently deployed British paratroop section, led by 2nd Lieutenant Carey, to try and retrieve these plans. With a mortar team set up behind one of the houses on the outskirts of the village to provide cover, Two British paratroop sections hurriedly made their way down one of the main streets, leading to the village square. It was a bold move, but necessary if the British were to complete their objective to capture the Hanamag. However, the arrival of the British in the village had not gone unnoticed from the German sniper already deployed in the church bell tower. He signalled the Fallschirmjäger units that were deployed at the far side of the village as a German mortar team opened fire on the advancing British paratroopers. Under the cover of mortar and sniper fire, the German Fallschirmjäger made their way towards the Hanemag to ensure that the Allies did not get their hands on any top secret documents. Embarked in a Bren gun carrier, the second lieutenant made his way into the village square as the first British paratroop section arrived at the burnt out Hanemag. Coming under heavy fire from the Fallschirmjäger unit in the church and the distinctive noise of an MG42, Hitler's buzzsaw, from one of the buildings overlooking the square, the British assault faltered. Ordering his men forward, the second lieutenant instructed the second paratroop section to provide covering fire as they opened up on the Fallschirmjäger in the church. Concerned that the British were starting to consolidate their position, a German Hanemag took position at the other end of the village square as two units of Fallschirmjäger moved forward to assault the British paratroopers holding the burnt out Hanemag.
German and British troops exchanged submachine gun fire as they converged together in hand-to-hand -hand combat around the burnt-out Hanamag. The British Bren gun carrier and German Hanamag provided covering fire across the village square with their machine guns. The two German Fallschirmjäger units in the square were joined by the Fallschirmjäger from the church as they charged across the square towards the fountain. Standing in front of the Bren gun carrier, the second lieutenant gave covering fire, but the three German units had almost broken the British defence. The British position looked bleak, until the third British paratroop section charged out of the house next to the Hanemag. As close combat ensued, it was brutal. The outcome of this encounter would be decided by the determination of one side or the other. As the battle raged, an opportunistic shot from a Panzerfaust disabled the Brengen carrier. At the same time, the German Hanemag reversed from the fighting in the square. Achtung! As the smoke cleared, it was apparent that the British paratroopers had the upper hand. Sporadic gunfire could be heard as the remaining broken German Fallschirmjäger units retreated. The British paratroopers had secured the burnt out Hanemag and waited for their second lieutenant to approach and search for the valuable documents, believed hidden inside the abandoned vehicle. <laughs> 